Today I want to talk about table calculations. This is a feature that allows you to make operations on the results of a query that you've already made. So let's see how it works in two examples. In the first, I'm going to create a sales per user column. So I have a total sales column and a user's count. And I'm going to go to this calculations button, which will pop open the table calculations modal. I'm going to first name the new calculation as sales per user. And then I can simply put in the mathematical operation that I want to do. We have an automatic field fill in, so I can select total sales, and I can divide that now by our user count. And notice I'm using the dollar sign curly brackets to reference which fields we're using, using Looker's variable symbology. And now I can format the value that comes out of this by selecting this formatting dropdown. So for this, I'll go ahead and select US dollars with two decimal places. And by hitting the Save Table Calculations button, we can now see our sales per user for each day. Let's take a look at a little more complicated scenario. In this example, I want to create a rolling average because we noticed that our sales are actually pretty noisy per day. So once again, I'm going to go to my Calculations button and open up my Table Calculations modal. I'll name this rolling average, and then I can start typing to show what functions are available to us. And there's a lot of neat things you can do if you start to explore table calculations. But for our case today, we're going to use the offset list function, which allows us to reference a group of preceding or following rows and then perform functions on that group. To calculate a seven day rolling average, I'll first enter the column I want to grab the offset values from, in this case, the total sale price. Then I'll enter how far back from the current row I want to start the offset, so six days, and then how many days I want the list to go for, seven. Now I'll have a list of the past seven days of sales, and I can wrap that in the mean function to now take an average over that list. I'll give this a format again of US dollars with two decimals. I can save that, and now I can visualize my rolling average alongside my total sales. I could turn off the total sales to just look for trends in our data, and there you have it. That's how you use table calculations to get to insight. <laughs>